Hi, this is a video of the Nissan X-Trail pollen filter change. Um, this is a 2007 model, UK model, so it's left, right hand drive, left hand glove box. First thing you need to do is remove the glove box. Inside at the bottom corner are these little tabs. Mine are quite stiff to get out because they used to fall out, so I, uh, I make them a bit stiff, which I'll show you later. Pop one out, and then here you push the glove box to the left to remove the peg that's on the top right. That's pushing it to the left because I've taken out a bottom right um, peg. If you do it the other way around, you push it to the right. Once that's out, um, it's relatively simple. You can move the bottom plate there, which I move afterwards. You'll see that later when you put it back together again. You're best to actually remove the bottom plate first, but I didn't do that because I didn't know. This is a TX a Torx Head 20, is what it says in my pack. You just remove all of these screws, obviously keep them to one side. They're all identical, so it doesn't matter which order you remove them in and where you put them. And you just remove each of those. There are also clips holding this in place. So once they're removed, it does need a little bit of popping off. Uh, and also, as you're about to find out by watching this, there is an electrical uh, junction attached to the top of it, which I'm about to take off the wrong way. Um, but again, you'll see that, learn from my mistake and don't do it this way. The wire on this is very tight, so you can't actually get it down very far until you've actually taken it off. So what I did there is I disconnected the actual uh, the electrical clip I removed the the one clip from the other clip but the the downside with that is that so I'm about to, I can't remember how I did this I think I put the screw a bit in the end of it and pop that electrical connection apart to remove the front end which is great the downside is that the back end is not much, much cable spare either so once that's off should really have edited this bit out, but I'd rather show you the mistakes I've made. That's out. That won't let the glove box come down further, but it still doesn't really come out of the way far enough. Um, so you can see the bottom panel here pops out. So that can be taken out first. It is better to take it out first than do the uh, do the top part afterwards. You see there, I'm finding out that the cable's not very long on there. So the easiest way is before you even start unscrewing that. You just get a little pair of pliers or something, squeeze those connectors in and pop that out. Okay. If it won't pop out very easily, then, then do it this way and pop it out afterwards. Once you've done that, you can see the fan, the big white unit. is the fan, the box atop, horizontal bit across it is the pollen filter. Pop those clips open, they're quite tight because they need to be an airtight seal for the pollen filter to work properly. That then just slides out. Uh, it will be very dirty, and you'll see that the one side is dirty, the other side is clean. That shows you which way the air is flowing. If in doubt, the air always flows through the filter before it goes to the fan. So that on that one, the top side, which is the dirty side. I believe that other versions of the x are very similar to the same unit, it's just it's mounted vertically, so your, so your pollen filter will actually go vertical rather than horizontal it is there. New filter pushes in. Some of them do say that they have a direction. That one says airflow direction. It doesn't really matter but you want to keep the airflow the same way if you then remove and replace the pollen filter otherwise you're just flipping it over and putting all your dirt straight into your system but on this one as I said just the airflow always goes through the filter then the fan so you can work out which way the airflow is going from that so on this one it goes through the filter then into the fan then that clips back on again make sure it's lined properly clipped in tightly because it does need to be airtight otherwise it'll be sucking air in or blowing air out into the car and bypassing the filter clip it back on I then have a ponder whether to do that first or second you can't do it first because the middle clip goes into the glove box the cat comes for a look clip this back in clip it back into place and then it's just a matter of screwing that back in place. Obviously, as they say, refitting is a reversal of removal. I think I'll speed this up, bit up in a second. Just put them back in again, any order doesn't really matter. As I say, I'm gonna put the bottom plate on in a second and I'll show you how that clips in because there's a little clip right at the back. And also the glove box. My glove box, when I had this car, uh, used to fall out on a regular basis so I uh, tweaked the clips that hold it in place uh, to make them a bit more secure which I'll show you that in a second this is that bottom panel there's a clip 
that attaches right at the back you need to put that leg into there get that to clip in place and that's nice and secure otherwise the back end will keep flopping down onto the passenger's feet Yeah, nice and simple. Put the camera back. Here's the glove box going back in. The clip on the bottom left is already in place. That slides into the bottom left and the clip on the top left slides into its little slot. Push it left and get the top right uh, clip into its slot. That's like a slot so the glove box can move. And then push the bottom right clip back in. That's the clip and it used to keep falling out. So all I did there was warm the end up with a uh, cigarette lighter and just peeing those out, put a knife in between the the, 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 the uh, little pointy points at the end and splay them out slightly so it was a tighter fit. I mean that's pushed in there, it's a bit hard to get in and out but it, as I say it stops the glove box falling in and out. And there we go, that's the video of the Nissan X-Trail. This model was a uh, 2007 UK model, the, I believe it's the T30 engine. But I would expect that other models are very similar and I know most Nissans of around the same age have a very similar fan setup and very similar pollen filter setup. Thank you for watching.